Hi, so I'm Ambuj Vashne and I'll present our work titled Tunnel Limiter, Tunnel Diode Based Low Power Carrier Meters for Backscatter Tags. This work was done while I was working at Uppsala University and has been jointly done together with Lorenzo, who is a PhD student at uh, Uppsala University. So I start the presentation by talking about backscatter communication, whose key challenge that we uh, tackle through our system. Backscatter is a low power mechanism that enables wireless transmissions by the reflection or absorption of carrier signals. It enables us to transmit at tens of microwatts of power consumption. Backscatter has seen significant recent interest with Recent systems demonstrating ability to generate uh, transmissions uh, compatible with commodity protocols such as Wi-Fi, Zigbee or Bluetooth or even achieve very long communication range. All the backscatter systems require an emitter device whose signal is reflected by the backscatter tag. And we believe these emitter devices limit the backscatter systems. If we talk about uh, configuration, backscatter systems can operate in two configurations. In, in the first configuration, which is used by most RFID systems, there is a reader device that generates a carrier signal, which is reflected by the tag and received by the reader device. And these reader device generate this carrier signal at 4 watts and are externally powered. Or many of the recent backscatter systems use a bi-static configuration, where the carrier generation and reception are delegated to separate device and are also separated in space. In this configuration, Wi-Fi router or smartphones or sensor nodes are used for providing the carrier signal. So what we find is that these emitter devices are usually complicated, they are bulky or they are energy expensive which requires them to operate on external power. And this we believe severely limits the application scenarios of backscatter uh, uh, systems. We present tunnel limiter, a emitter device that can provide necessary carrier signals to support backscatter transmission. Tunnel limiter is compact, it consumes microwatts of power and thus it can even operate on small batteries or energy harvested from the ambient environment. Such capability is challenging or infeasible for emitter devices used in existing backscatter systems. As we show in the figure, tunnel limiter can be smaller than a coin cell battery and due to the low power consumption it can even operate for years without duty cycling on the same battery. Tunnel limiter achieves this by the use of tunnel diode oscillators Tunnel diode oscillators are designed using this fascinating uh, device that was discovered in late 1950s. And this is tunnel diode. Tunnel diodes demonstrate a region of negative resistance, which allows their use for design of uh, micropowered RF amplifiers, oscillators, etc. In fact, we demonstrated through our system tunnel scatter that was presented at last year's Mobicom, design of a low powered and high frequency RF oscillator using tunnel diodes. It allowed us to generate a carrier signal within 868 MHz band while consuming tens of microwatts of power as we show in the spectrum plot on the slide. In tunnel limiter, we build on tunnel scatter and enhance this uh, design. However, we face a key challenge and that is that the carrier signal generated is weak and the range of backscatter system scales with the strength of carrier signal and hence a tunnel limiter would achieve very short communication range limiting application scenarios. However, this is not the case for our system because of a phenomena that we demonstrate for the first time, which we call back injection. Back injection allows emitter devices to become the source of the backscatter reflection. This means that the emitter devices could amplify the weak backscatter signal by gain as high as 20 dB, thus overcoming the limitation of weak emitter device. Here we show a conventional backscatter system and here we show a tunnel limiter system. In the tunnel emitter system, a tunnel uh, a emitter device generates a carry signal which is reflected by the backscatter tag and this weak backscatter signal from the tag arrives back at the tunnel emitter. The tunnel emitter because of the back injection phenomena amplifies the signal and transmits it to the receiver and at the receiver we now receive two signals, one coming from the tag and one from the emitter and the signal from the emitter is many orders of magnitude stronger than the one propagating directly from the tag. And this makes tunnel emitter different from all existing backscatter systems. We now show the effect of back injection phenomenon. Here we have a conventional backscatter system using a SDR. We barely see the backscattered signal. 
On the other hand, when we use our system and the meter, the backscatter signal is as strong as the carrier signal. To be noticed, we used similar strength carrier signal. In conclusions, we presented tunnel emitter, which enable carrier signal generation on small batteries or even on energy harvested from the environment. One of our main results is that together with long-range tag, tunnel emitter is able to transmit over multiple floors of our university building. Please find many more exciting results in our research paper.